Ah, yes, my friend, you are awake. Welcome to the home of the Ocho Muertos. You cannot move because you have been drugged. You have caused me great distress. You were heralded as the most ruthless of killers, speaking only of domination. And yet Cortez lives on because of your betrayal. We thought you dead, and yet you show your face now and attempt to sabotage against us. He is a superior warrior. I respect him greatly. You let him live because of this foolishness? Cortez is your better. You lie! He is weak, blind, and crippled. Cortez is nothing! He's more than you could ever be, Mendoza. I told you never to use my name. Dude, finally, you're way late for your shift. Cortez is talking shit through the door and I'm getting tired of it. Where the hell were you? Whatever, dude. Did you at least bring the Bloody Mary mix? Dude, brah, that's cold. Wait, did you say you moved the cars? You took my Rap Legends of 95 mix out of the car, right, dude? That's my pump-up music. Dude, I love that CD. Gotta give them credit. I never would have expected the CTs to get the jump on us like that. Ellis is so PO'd, he started inventing new ways to swear. Man, those CTs have crossed the line. Next time I see one of those I'm gonna the out of their rat fing and hides with the that's 500 long. Careful, Ellis, you could wake the vegetable. Too soon. All right, soldiers, we caught the terrorists by surprise when we took Cortez, but it won't be long before they come for him. He's been sitting in the garage for a few days now, and I bet he's ready to talk. I'm going to make him admit that he's been working with the Ocho Muertos all season. That's right, son, and don't you forget it. All right, player, you make sure our arsenal is stocked. Chet, you checked that the ventilation shaft over the garage is still blocked off, right? Uh, yeah, totally. I mean, I will be right back. Leroy, son, I need to talk to you. What is it, Westheimer? Well, I'm in there working on Cortez. I want you to assume command of the squad. What? But Don't I... Don't be modest, Leroy. You've got a cool head, and I've been thinking lately that you have the makings of a leader. Chet and Player need a firm hand to keep them in line. Well, yeah, but... You'll do fine, soldier. Time to get down to business. Ah, old man. Come to join me at last? Perhaps you can explain why I'm caged like a burro. I suspect you've been lying to us all. For instance, I don't think you're actually blind. Son of a bitch, pinche. Hmm, doesn't prove anything. So, talking to you is not the only torture I must endure. I'm not gonna torture you, Cortez. You're gonna tell me exactly what I need to know, and then your team will step down gracefully and forfeit. Tell me about your alliance with the Ocho Muertos. You know nothing of them. I'm ready to learn. They are none of your concern. Oh, but they are. Leroy tells me that the Ocho Muertos are the ones who hacked into his system. They've been watching us through the security cameras for who knows how long. You don't seem surprised. I may not see, old man, but some things I can sense in my blood. Man, Montrose, what the hell are we gonna do? Those CT bastards got their mitts on Cortez while we're stuck in here with Sleeping Beauty who could go off at any second. Stop being so dramatic, it's unbecoming. We need to rescue Cortez. What? what do you mean? You, me, and Mr. Haxalot over there? We've gotta do something. It's the honorable thing to do. What do you mean, honorable? It's just the two of us against all of them. You want me to pick up a mod and hit him over the head with him or something? I mean, that might work if I could get the angle right in my swing. Look, do you trust Cortez? Well, yeah, but... Did you see what he did for Ahmad? Well, not directly, but... He put his life on the line to save him from himself. Well, I, I guess if you put it that way... Right. So, we need a plan. Cortez! All right, dudes, major score. Turns out I still have some vodka and some Kahlua left over. We can make white Russians. No glasses, though. You don't mind mixing it up in your mouths, do you? Chet, no. We can't start drinking. We have to guard the door. Look, dude, there's only one way in and out of this garage. There's three of us to guard it. We've totally got the high ground. Westheimer put me in charge while he's in there, and I really don't think we should be drinking. 
Look, man, shut up. I need at least two drinks to get focused. I'm sure if Westy was here, he'd tell you the same thing. We're close like that. We're bros. Dude, Chili, you can't have any player. That means with ice, bro. You're gonna put ice cubes in your mouth? Well, listen, you guys just make sure you pay attention to the door and don't drink too much. Whatever, dude. Roger that. Okay, then. I'll just stand over here with my gun. You know what else Leroy told me? He kept seeing a red skull on his computer. He asked you about it and you just played dumb, but you knew perfectly well that it was the Ocho Muertos logo, and you didn't say a darn thing. I do not meddle in your affairs, Westheimer. The Ocho Muertos are my affair and mine alone. Release me now, or we will all pay the price. I'll release you as soon as you admit to having an alliance with the Ocho Muertos. You've been working with them to rig this competition. That's why you and Ahmad went to their warehouse, isn't it? Dios mío. That was one of their bases? Don't make me laugh. It wasn't hard for Leroy to trace the tracker back to that address. I'll give you this much. It was pretty sharp of you to lose the first challenge. It makes it more believable. You're a delusional old man. Why did you do it, Cortez? Is it the prize money? Hold your tongue, you dog. Aha! So it was the money. I have had enough of your insolence. I know that you will not end this foolishness until you truly understand the Ocho Muertos. So I suppose I must enlighten you, you filthy city dog. It's about time. Tell me about Mendoza. You must never say his name. Never. You may think me a liar, but this you must believe. Say his name and he will end you. There is something not right in his cabeza. What? You mean he's crazy? That, y mucho más. When I was leader of the Ocho Muertos, he was my segundo. We were the most powerful terrorist squad in the whole world. We were called upon by the powerful and the influential to play their hand in secret. But my brother, he was never happy. He wanted the bigger kills, the bigger money, and he took great pleasure in killing. Much too great. Like you don't? I do not kill for sport, old man. Funny, since the point of this game we're playing is to kill the other team. My brother was different. He killed but felt no satisfaction. When killing was not enough, his hunger for power and wealth increased. He came before the team one day with a plan to rob the greatest banks in the world, and I told them that the Ocho Muertos were not common thieves. And he became enraged. I had never seen him so angry. He tried to kill me then, while the rest of the Muertos watched on. I defeated him and told him never to return. I think I know the rest. Something like we were on another job and suddenly I was cut off from the rest of the team and got caught in an explosion. I've been blind since that day. And you're telling me your brother was the one who betrayed you? What a load of baloney. What kind of brother would ever betray his own family? You may find out what kind of brother he is when he comes to kill us all.